Hi makeup friends, I hope you all are doing well. Um, this is my second attempt at filming this collective haul for you guys. Um, I would have tried to do like four videos um, in the previous look where I had on like a purple t-shirt but it just started getting dark and I already filmed this video but I am redoing it just because I didn't like how the quality looked and because it was getting dark you couldn't really um, see the items that I was trying to show you guys too well so I am filming this video over. So currently it is um, the beginning of August here in Trinidad and Tobago. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago for any of those of you who are watching who are new and don't know. So yes, I am less made up than I normally am because today was more of a errand day where I went to get back to school items for my daughter, school shoes, school bag, lunch kit, that kind of thing. So I didn't want to go too heavy with the makeup and stuff because when you're running errands, you get like tired and sweaty and all of these things. So yeah, I am more on the minimal um, side of things today. So this is the haul that I had filmed already that I'm showing you guys again plus some additional items that I picked up so this will be a collective haul these items are from Pennywise, Sherry Derry, Wonderful World and Starlight Pharmacy yes I think that's all of it so this um these items were picked up over several different trips to different places and I just put all of it in one video um I must say that I think I will be going on a no buy for, from makeup um, until December so yes I'm gonna try to uh, save my money for all of the seasonal items that come out in December like all of the holiday launches from Sephora and stuff I love to collect those palettes and I wait until I get like I could be able to afford those higher-end foundations like Giorgio Armani and stuff to the end of the year so I'm gonna do that but um, you guys will not be seeing too many makeup hauls from me um, until then because I am trying to hold on to my coins. So, okay, let us start off with Payless because I did pick up two pairs of sandals for myself. I don't usually show this kind of thing, but I find it's fun in a collective haul. I love to see um, collective hauls to see what different things people pick up, to see their... their um, fashion taste and the style and all of that i don't consider myself to be fashionable i mean i like certain things um it is what it is anyway so i went into payless to get my daughter's school shoe so i got her school shoe and then while i was there i saw some really really cute sandals so i just picked up two pairs for myself so this is the first one i actually like changed the shoe the little white thing there I actually changed the shoe that I had on um, when I went to the mall and I put on these because these were way more comfortable. So I changed into these. These were, I believe, 170 They could have been on sale. I'm not really sure. I can't remember what I paid for these sandals. But So this is from Payless. I absolutely love this color. I've not ever owned a, a sandal in this color. And they're super comfortable. I wore them already. And this is very um, cushiony. So it won't hurt your feet. It's very, very soft. So I really, really like these. I do wear size 8. So I picked up those. And then the second one that I picked up was this um, nude pair. And I've never really owned a nude pair of sandals either. But I love them, love them. I am more of a sandal wearing person. I do have heels, like the chunkier heels. That is what I prefer to wear if I am wearing heels. Because I do not walk properly in heels I look like a baby giraffe so yeah I try to avoid making myself look too crazy so I I tend to wear more sandals and stuff if I am going to um movies or a date or something with my husband I will dress up then but on the occasional Saturday I will wear my chunky heel boots and stuff but I usually always wear sandals so I picked up these as well this one says $1.95 I'm not sure if I got them on sale or a special price or anything, but those are that. So I really, really like those two pairs of sandals that I picked up from Payless. Then I'm going to move on to Starlight. Now, I'm not sure when this video will go up. I am filming on August the 4th, which is a Saturday. So I took some pictures and I posted it um, 
to a few uh, beauty groups that I am a part of as well as I posted it in my own beauty group which the link is always down below it's called all over beauty you just send a join request and I will add you and I posted some pictures there of some items that I st saw in starlight and I am blown away I could not believe like I was like hyperventilating when I went in there now they're selling Juvia's Place, they're selling Pixie, they're selling so many freaking amazing things. So definitely if you're not a part of my group, send me the join request and I will add you so you can, because that is why I mostly will post all of my items that I see quickly because I want you guys to, to be able to get your hands on them when I see them. So I'm just going to show you a couple items that I picked up in Starlight. I didn't take this out of the bag, so excuse your rustling. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is not beauty related, but I'm still going to share it. For those of you who don't know, I am a Christmas fanatic. I do have a uh, Christmas group or Christmas page on Facebook. The link is always down below as well. And I do have a large amount of people on that group. I am um, Mrs. Christmas. I love Christmas to death. I have already planned out my theme for 2018. I already know what I'm doing on my tree. Uh, follow me on face on Instagram because you will see um, first pictures there of like when I do my tree and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to do a vlog of when I'm doing my tree. My tree goes up in October because I like it to feel like it's Christmas for the longest time possible. So, yes. So, I had this in my cart on Amazon of some items to bring in to help me decorate my house for the theme that I'm going with and I am going with a plaid theme this year a red and black plaid but in red and black you always add in more natural colors like burlap and stuff and I did have these in my cart on Amazon to bring them in to help me decorate but I actually saw them in starlight so what this is is it's actually wired burlap ribbon and this is one and a half inches and you get 10 feet on your roll. They did have three rolls and I picked up all because I did have this in my cart on Amazon. And I want to say that they were like 15 US each. So these were so much cheaper locally and I would have had to pay shipping and all of that to bring that in. So I'm so, so happy that I found this. So this is going to be um, a part of my Christmas tree. So I'm buying this now and putting it aside. I'm so, so excited that I got this. So this is wired burlap ribbon. And this is going to be on like my wreaths and my garland and my Christmas tree. So I did pick up these. I paid $34.95 each for one, which is a really, really good price. Then that was the only non-beauty item that I picked up. Well, I did get other things, but I'm only going to show you the things that I picked up for me personally. So I went to Starlight because they posted on their Instagram that they did get the Thayer's um, Witch Hazel. And we know this is all the rave right now. People really, really rate this to tone their face and stuff. When they did post, they posted up the Rose Petal one, which I do have back there. But in the large size, in this large size, they don't have the Rose Petal one in the Maraval branch. They only have the original version. And then the smaller ones with the spray, the spray top, they do have lavender and they do have the Rose Petal one. But I don't mind getting the original one. I paid $85 for this. I would have also had to um bring this in on amazon if i did not get it locally or i would have gotten it through sherry dairy but now it is available in starlight pharmacy for 85 dollars. i can't really remember the price of the small one but i did post pictures of it so definitely go to the group and see if you see the picture so you can see the price but i would definitely say take a trip to starlight in maraval the items that they have is mind-blowing really really good i saw brush sets i saw juvia's place i saw beauty creations which is a new brand to me if you see the palettes how adorable really really nice gifts that you could give to people for christmas etc pixie they got back all of their ofra they even had the new jlo um jlo makeup with inglot they have tons of items there so i did get this this was 85 dollars i use this every single morning to tone my face then I was planning to go to um, Belarus in West Mall. I actually didn't end up going in there. But I did need a new cleaner for my beauty blender 
my beauty blenders and my brushes and I had the beauty blender solid soap but that is almost finished I probably just have a few more uses and it will be done and then I don't have anything else to clean my beauty blenders or my brushes so I did pick up um, this is a liquid blender cleanser this is the actual original cleanser for the beauty blender from beauty blender they also had the soap solids but I prefer this one because it lasts a lot longer and that soap in the little container finishes very very quickly and this one I can actually pump out and use to clean my brushes and stuff so I really really like this this is probably my third or my fourth repurchase of this I want to say I paid about 135 for this I believe then um, I'm almost finished with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Serum um, I've been using that for quite some time and it did last me a long time, but it's almost empty I'm almost finished with it. So I did need to get a backup. So I picked up another one This is the hydro boost hydrating serum from Neutrogena and it says boost hydration for smooth supple skin all day with hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid is good for moisture um, I uh, What was I gonna say I can't remember. Oh, yes, so because being on my no buy I will not be buying makeup, but you will see probably skincare hauls and stuff from me because I am trying to be very good and consistent with my skincare. So I am using up my skincare every morning and every night religiously. So I did need another one of this. And then last but not least, they have so many items from Pixie. I saw all of the oil blends. I saw all of the face mists. I saw the glycolic peeling pads. I saw tons and tons of items from Pixie. But I did this. I did pick up one of these from Sherry Derry before and I have been using it and it finishes very, very quickly once you use it every single night and I don't use it excessively because I was actually skimping on it because of how expensive it was. I paid this, the same item I'm going to show you, I paid $160 from Sherry for and Starlight is selling it for $120. dollars So I picked up another one from Starlight and this is a Pixie Glow Tonic. This is a smaller size. Um, this says 3.4 fluid ounces. I'm not sure how um, large the big one is, but they do sell a large version to this, but they did not have it in Starlight. Otherwise, I would have picked up the larger one, but they only have the small one. But it's so good to know that you can go into a store and pick up these items. I definitely want to try some of their oil blends and some of their face mist. I saw like rose face mist and vitamin face mist. They do have tons and tons of pixie items. And it's so, so nice to see all of these items. So I paid $120 for this um, in Starlight. So those are all of the items that I picked up from Starlight. Now I'm going to show you the items that I picked up from Sherry Dairy and Wonderful World. Now, I did pick up these items from Sherry, I want to say a few weeks ago. So I have started using them. And, um, oops, this bag is late. Yeah, and then I did pick up these items from Wonderful while Wonderful World a while ago as well, and some of these items I did purchase for my daughter, and um, she started using them and she has them out sitting pass around her room. So I think I have the majority of what I purchased, but if I do miss an item or two in a future haul, I will include it if I can find it. But I'm gonna show you the items that I picked up. Um, from Sherry Dairy Foods. So this is my first time picking up the Glow Tonic. So I did pick up this from Sherry. I've only used this for a couple of weeks and it's it's finishing very, very quickly. So as I said, I paid $160 for this from Sherry. So this is the one I bought from Sherry. And then this is my backup that I picked up in Starlight. So I did pick up this from Sherry. I paid $160. Right? Then I picked up, this is from The Ordinary, and this is Lactic Acid 5%. I did message Sherry, and I told her that I am not getting so many breakouts anymore, but I would like to improve the texture of my skin. So she definitely did um, suggest a couple items to me to help me with texture. So I did pick up most of the items that she, she suggested to me. There were a few others that she suggested that I didn't pick up as yet, but I will eventually get them. So this lactic acid is supposed to help with texture and it's just a liquid that you add into your um, nighttime skincare. As you see, I've started using it there already. Um, you're supposed to like gradually work it into your skincare, which I have been doing. 
So now I'm up to just putting it on top of my face as opposed to just like mixing it in with a moisturizer. I do have a video planned for you guys where I show you my daytime, um, my morning daytime skincare items and my nighttime skincare items because people have asked me what I do use morning and nighttime so I will have a video showing that and I'm now seeing how my foundation is looking here but it's because I colored my hair so please ignore that anyway moving on also from Sherry she suggested this moisturizer and she told me that she uses this moisturizer um, at night time and it is a tiny jar like it's not a very huge jar it says two fluid ounces I paid 175 for this and this is the seal cuticles multifunction all-in-one anti-aging snail repair cream and when she did um, suggest this to me I was like Sherry that's disgusting I feel like I'm kind of grossed out that it has like snail juice in it and she's like no girl it never even know that it has those things in it um, the snail extract and it says the highest concentration of snail extract 97.5% um, she was explaining in one of her lives or one of her videos that the snail actually look, Sherry just sent me a message um, the snail extract that's in it is actually extracted from the snail because when snails crawl on the ground they do get injured and that slimy thing that's on their body actually helps them to heal their body so now they're putting it into skincare and it's supposed to be really really good for anti-aging and stuff I thought that this cream would have had a weird smell, but it smells really, really nice. It does have a very, um, like a very orangey, citrusy kind of smell. It's very, very pleasant and really, really nice. So I have started implementing this into my nighttime skincare routine. Also from Sherry, I picked up a backup of my rose hip seed oil. I use rose hip oil every single night in my nighttime skincare routine. I'm almost out of my current um, rose hip oil that I'm using and that will be in my, my next empties. I have a video, I really filmed film an empties for in August. So you may see an empties from in September, October, but you will see that then, but I've almost finished with it. So... This I use for, it does help if you have issues with pigmentation, if you do have like dark marks from acne scarring, I find personally that it has improved that. I don't really have that too much, but it does. So this is what the bottle looks like. It does come with a dropper. And rosehip oil is something that you have to get accustomed to the smell too because it does smell a little fishy. But it's really, really good for nighttime skincare with moisture and getting rid of, help you new with pigmentation and all of that. This is recommended for anybody to use and I do have very oily acne prone skin and this is recommended for everyone to use so you can get this from Sherry you can also get rosehip oil from Eco Truffles which is a local um, company that you can find on Facebook that's where I first got my first rosehip oil from and I thought that rosehip oil was easier to find the first time I was trying to find it. I thought I could get it in a drugstore, but it's not easily accessible in so many places. I do believe Mustafa's in Port of Spain and Trinidad, that's where people said that they got some sherry dairy, or you can find rosehip oil on Amazon. So I picked up that from her as well. Then I picked up um, the new uh, foundation from Colourpop and this is their no filter foundation I do have it on today the match is spot on for my skin but putting this on I would say this doesn't I don't know if it's the sponge that I use but it didn't blend out too nicely with the sponge I will try it with a brush although that is not my preference at all for putting on foundation is with a brush I don't like to do that but I will try again um, the shade that I got was a medium dark 135 now if you go on to Colourpop's website or you do get it from sellers who do have it how Colourpop match their foundations to help you pick your perfect shade is like they will tell you like this one is equivalent to um, MAC NC42 or they will reference a different foundation shade so they're very very helpful in helping you to choose your foundation and that is how I decided to choose this one let me show you what the bottle looks like now this foundation a standard foundation you do get one fluid ounce 
top is a little dirty there because I did use it this morning and Colourpop products, their face products that they came out with are very very small I must say. So this is 0.85 of a fluid ounce where most standard foundations come in a fluid ounce and this does not come with a cover. This is exactly how it comes in the in the box but if you do want to travel with this this top it has a lock system so you can either open it or lock it this little top part so it should be good to travel with as well so i can't remember how much exactly i paid i want to say like 120 or something don't quote me um definitely if you want to get this you can try sherry dairy or there are tons of sellers who have who, who are bringing this in now so you can check on facebook or instagram Right, so I did pick up that. Um, I don't. It, I would say that I don't think it is a full coverage foundation. It's like a medium foundation. It's very very light, and personally, I would prefer that if I'm putting on a foundation, it is a full coverage foundation. Otherwise, it makes no sense to me to put it on. I've only used it today, but I will try it again and give it another try and see how best I can get it to work and look and all of that. If you do want me to do a um, dedicated review to that foundation, I definitely can do that for you guys. So I can bring you in a little closer. Right. Okay, good. Right, so also with that, I also got the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. And you guys, look at the size of these things. It is like so, so tiny. This is giving me like mini Laura Mercier vibes, the setting powder. I did use a little bit of this as well today. I will continue to test this out. I did get it in translucent. I will continue to test this out and see how I like it. But look how tiny this is. Um, the amount of product you get in here is 0 0.3, 0 0.3 fluid ounces. It is very, very tiny. If you're going to use this every day to set your face, it will finish very, very quickly. So I probably will try to use this to set under my eyes and stuff, but I want to compare it to the Laura Mercier powder just because it's similar in size and I want to see if the texture is the same as well. I think I paid $90 for this. Right, so that is the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. Um, the Rosehip Oil, I think I paid... $85 from Sherry. So those items are items that I picked up from Sherry Dairy. Now let me show you guys what I picked up from Wonderful Wool. Now Wonderful Wool, um, I went in, I normally go in and I have a friend who works there and I tell her, you know, what, what do you all have that's new? Show me what's new because that Wonderful Wool that I visit, which is the um, branch in West Mall, they have expanded to a larger store and it can be a little confusing with the setup because they do have makeup and stuff in, in you know, different areas and they try to keep it together but it's still, you know, you have to look on the shelf or look behind there. So, so it's helpful to me to go in and ask her, you know, what did you all get that is new, etc, etc. So she showed me a few items as well as I had my daughter with me and she told my daughter, she said, you know, we just put up a whole new unicorn wall. So my daughter kind of went like oh so they do have a, a new set of unicorn kid friendly items in the wonderful world i do not know they also i, I also visited the long circular mall branch and i did see a few items but i believe the bigger stores like maybe trin city and west mall and stuff would get um more of the items so i'm gonna show you all of her items that i picked up for her first so let me start off with this. Now, some of these things she have, she's already taken off the tags and started to wear them, wear them and stuff, but I did take them back from her just to show you guys what they are. So the first item is this little um, unicorny air headband. It's adorable. This was $18.18. TT, all of these prices, and I'm quoting on TT dollars because I am from Trinidad and Tobago. So... This was $18 and it does have these little iridescent ears on them. And my daughter sometimes likes to go out and stuff like this. It is super cute. This did come in tons and tons of different shades. But I told her to pick the white because it will go with more uh, outfits and stuff. So this was $18. It's super adorable. And I also got an idea to like pick up a few items for my nieces. 
um, in there because the items are so cute like for their stockings or to go with their Christmas gifts is very very cute um, she also did pick up some jewelry so this is the first set that she picked up and this was $18 as well most of the items were $18 the smaller items so this does come with a little um, bracelet and a necklace and on the end of the necklace there is a little unicorn head so this was $18 my daughter sometimes likes to wear these items as well when she's dressed up so this is very very cute to add into a present to add into stockings and stuff because I do do a stocking for my daughter for Christmas so it's a very very cute even to buy for my nieces to put into their stockings as well adorable I really really like that and then she picked up this set as well, but she already wore this one. So this one is missing the little cardboard. This is a, like a little, you know, there's a candy long time. Is it like, I can't remember the candy. If you remember the name of the candy, leave it down below because I can't remember. But was it not sweetheart? There's a candy long time that looks like this, but she also picked up this set. This was also $18 as well. It comes with the little handband and the necklace. And on the end of this one, there's a little, um, is that a peace symbol so she also did pick up this this one is really cute as well I picked up this for her and um, she already took it off the little paper to try it on and this is so cute it says $15 and it is a little charm bracelet let me see if I can get the charm is pink it is so stinking cute so this was $15. I really, really love this for my nieces and stuff as well. But I bought this for my daughter, $15. So, so cute to dress them up when they are, when they're dressed and getting ready to go out and stuff. This charm, I also did see it in white. But my daughter likes pink, so I picked up the pink. I love this. Also, um, she picked out this. And this is a little um hair bow and this was $18 as well as I said most of the little smaller unicorny mermaidy items were $18 so she picked up this hair bow and it does come in a holographic rainbow color and it does have a little print of a mermaid on it this was $18 as well um in this I also think that I saw them in silver and on the silver there was a a unicorn on it so I did see that as well. Picked up that. Two more, three more items for her. Then um, she picked up this little keychain. And this little keychain, I told her, would look really cute on her bag, on her new school bag for the new term. But she wanted it for decoration for her room because my daughter is a pony fanatic. She loves um, ponies, My Little Pony and Unicorn and stuff. So she picked up this. And this was $45. So cute, so, so cute. I believe this also came in pink, if I'm not mistaken. So $45 for her. So my daughter just picked this up to put on her desk in her room just for decoration for her bedroom. There are a few more like little jewelry pieces and stuff that she picked up, like little baby tassel earrings and stuff that I forgot to... Um, pick up because there were a lot of things that she picked out and started to wear already like little fake nails When she's filming her little pony videos and stuff. She likes to make her nails look pretty so a couple items that are left out of the bag, but it's not a big deal and then I was looking for a nice pencil case for her for the new term that's going to start and I find that the pencil cases in the um, bookstores and stuff just aren't as nice she was looking for a hard cover um, pencil case the pencil box but we just weren't finding nice ones either the ones that we were finding were looking so cheap so going into wonderful world I saw they have these but I believe it's a makeup bag but it's kind of in the kids section and they also have them in unicorn and mermaid scales and all of that they came in tons of ones so I picked up this for my daughter to use as um, her pencil case for the new school term and this does have a holographic heart cut out and you can see some of the items there because we already packed her pencil case with her new items for school 
so i did pick this up for her i believe it is a makeup bag but if you have a little girl and you are looking for a really nice pencil case for her definitely pick up one of the many many ones that there were in wonderful world for them to use as pencil cases because the ones in wonderful world are so so adorable as compared to what you're getting in the bookstores and stuff they just aren't so cute so i paid 65 dollars for this um for her and i believe it's a makeup bag or it could be a pencil case for little girls who knows but i did pick it up for a pencil case for her so this is super super adorable and then last but not least for my daughter, she did pick up like little notebooks and all of that, but she really, really wanted this item. And I told her, I said, if you're picking up this, you need to put back some other items um, to be able to get this. And she really, really wanted this. So she did rush back and put back a bunch of other things. So this is what she wanted most of all. And I actually really, really like this gift this item as gifts for little girls in our family i just think it is so cute and it is very trendy right now so it is this um unicorn neck pillow it does have a horn and it does go around the child's neck so they can use this in the car if they're taking a nap this is especially nice for little girls who are like three or four years old because sometimes you know they do fall asleep on a drive home or whatever it is so this is that their head won't lean forward or they won't hurt their necks when they're sleeping in the car napping in the car my daughter likes to wear hers like if she's playing video games when she's lying down reading a book so she really really wanted this to decorate her bed as well so i did pick this up for her this was 99 dollars, which i don't find it to be too pricey i find that price to be actually quite fair it is very very plush and it is really really nicely made it's a sleeping unicorn so I really really like this for her I like this for gifts as well if you do have girls in your family your daughter your niece whoever to buy for I really really like that and then moving on to a couple um, jewelry pieces and one or two makeup things that I did pick up for myself so firstly these earrings I bought for myself and I want to say that I paid about 40 two dollars or forty dollars forty five dollars no more than forty five dollars for these and tassel earrings are very very trendy right now and i have i have actually been looking for some really nice tassel earrings from wonderful world and my friend did tell me that they were getting in jewelry soon and to check them back because i really really want white tassel earrings and black tassel earrings because they are trendy and they do look so so pretty on so i did end up getting these and this is like a like a smoky gray tassel earring so that's the first earring that i picked up i also picked up these these were 15 dollars. i lost the little card for it so this is what the earring looks like it is a little stud and then the back of the earring actually is the heart let me see if i can hold it there yeah so that is that these are 15 dollars. this is super super cute if you have a teenage girl to buy for this will be a very very nice gift um, to add to their stockings or to add with an existing gift. This is very, very cute, $15. Then besides tassel earrings, earrings with balls are trending now as well. This was $42 and this is in grey. So grey is a, a really nice neutral colour too that you can buy to accessorize and stuff. I like white, black, grey, those more simple ones because you can mix and match with many different outfits. Um, this was $42, originally $70. $42 I find is a little pricey for this, but I know it is in style right now. So it was $70 before, but hell no, I'd never pay $70 for this. So I did pay $42 for that. Um, I picked up these and these are really, really classy and I like these for like when I'm working and stuff. So these are little hoops. These were $40 and this little part here is looks like a like a precious stone or something. It's very, very pretty for work especially. Picked up that. Um, I picked up these tassel earrings and these are quite gorgeous as well. These are very classy. This um, tassel earring, these were $30 and this is it's actually showing up true to color. It's like a camel color and then the top of the earring has this kind of a gold color. So tassel earrings and ball earrings are trending right now. Really, really like those. I paid $30 for that. And then for jewelry, last but not least, I picked up these ball earrings and these were $15.
So it does have like a little stopper, a hoop, and then the balls are dropping down. $15 for that. Very, very cute. So that's all the jewelry that I picked up. Then I did pick up a couple makeup items. Duh. I got a backup of my LA Girl Pro Matte um, foundation. I love this foundation to death. I actually mix a little bit little bit in today with my, um, my ColourPop foundation just to give it a little more body because the ColourPop foundation does feel very watery and it is very light coverage. As I said, if you, I will use it a couple more times and then give you a review, an in-depth review if you do want because of our climate and because of my oily skin. And if, if that will be helpful to you, definitely let me know and I will do it. So this is my backup because I do use this foundation very, very often, more often than I use any other foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. I did give a review on it. I will link it below. I purchased this in Wonderful World. Now, this is available in Pennywise as well. But someone bought one from Wonderful World and one from Pennywise. And that person actually said that the one from Pennywise is very off. There was a discrepancy with the writing. And it is a good bit cheaper because these are $65 in Wonderful World and $50 in um, Pennywise. But... It makes no sense to, to, to save $10 or $15 and then you're getting, not a, you're getting a fake item. It's not genuine. Or so it would appear. But people under that thread made sure to comment and say, well, you know, Pennywise doesn't always sell genuine items. And some people say, well, that's why I don't buy perfume there. Or that's why I don't buy that there. So for those of you who bought it, I hope that you've gotten a genuine one. But let me know if you did purchase it from Pennywise and you're seeing any issue. But I bought my original one in Wonderful World and I bought my backup in Wonderful World, $65. My color in this foundation is sand. I absolutely love this foundation. Then um, in asking my friend if they had any new items, she did show me quite a couple of new items that I did pick up. So the first thing that she showed me, these are from Nika K. I did try on one today and I love, love, love the color swatched. But on my skin tone, the color does not look nice at all. It looks kind of, it makes me look a little ashy. But I can't get it to work if I do do a darker color on the outside and put this color in the center. So on the packaging, these just say lip color from Nika K. But on the stand, they are matte um lippies matte liquid lipsticks but initially i thought that they were gloss and then i picked them up they actually dried down etc so and on wearing these on my hand they feel so so nice and soft and plush so the first one that i picked up this one is called dusty pink rose and this is the one that i picked up and it, it's a beautiful color but it doesn't Looks so awesome on my skin tone, but I definitely will get it to work with different shades and stuff. That is what that looks like there. And the color, the name is freaking 100% true. Dusty Pink Rose, that is exactly, exactly what it looks like. These feel super, super comfortable. I definitely want to... I own tons of the ColourPop Matte Liquid Lipsticks, and I want to get rid of all of them i have had those for a very very long time since they first came out and i have some of the shades that first first came out i do not ever reach for those i don't like the formula of it so i'd want to get rid of all of those color pop matte liquid lippies and slowly replace them with other ones so this might be one of them i have to wear it and see this is the second shade i picked up and this is called iris atro Fusca, Fusca, I don't know, it has a very strange name if you can read it there. And this does look like a gorgeous brownie color, I love it. Can't wait to wear that one. These feel super, super plush, I have not really worn it so much on my lips. The one time that I did put on the lighter one, I had to put a gloss over it because the color does not match my skin tone. But I will wear them and let you know how they wear. But so far, they feel like a soft, plush liquid lipstick. They feel really nice so far. $30 a piece in Wonderful World. They come in tons and tons of shades. And if they do wear nicely, I don't know if I'll go back for any. I'm trying not to buy any more makeup until December. Anyway, moving on. I did haul these in my Pennywise haul 
um this is the la girl gloss toppers now i was looking for the clear one in pennywise when i bought them but i did not know that the clear one was the black one because when i saw it, it was like who's gonna wear black speckled lip gloss because the others like the pink has pink speckles the purple one has purple speckles yellow etc etc so i didn't know that this black one was the clear one but i definitely wanted this and now these are available in wonderful world they do have the brow the brow gels not the brow gel the brow pomade they do have the gel on oh, no, they got my own eye anyway so these now are available in wonderful wool i think i paid 35 dollars for this but this is a clear one and it's called clearly clear i have been looking for very very shiny clear lip glosses to use as toppers or i find it looks very very pretty if you just line your lips and you put on clear gloss and nothing else Especially if you do have a very dramatic eye look, it does look very pretty on you. So that, the last lippy item I picked up is from Milani. They did get some new Milani items. They do have the new um, hypnotic highlighters and I was excited for those. I swatched it, but they do not swatch nicely at all. They look very powdery and chalky. And then the, color, the undertones are kind of weird. It's almost like a unicorn -y undertone where it's purple or pink. And I'm not going to be wearing that all that much. I do have like rainbow highlighters and stuff. And now I feel as though I've wasted my money buying that because in, in reality, when am I going to go to a stupid stripe of rainbow on my cheekbone? Unless I flick and play in a rainbow for Halloween. So yeah, I'm not going to be buying excessive amounts of crap. So I did not purchase them. Those highlighters were 120 But she did get these. These are the Hypnotic Light Lip Toppers. This is from Milani. Look at the packaging on this. How gorgeous. Look at the top. Um, they do have testers in all of these. And this was the only one that I swatched and I felt was so, so gorgeous. This was $90. Milani is a pricey drugstore brand. Um, this is in 01 Luster Light, but this is a gorgeous lip topper. Let me give you a swatch. Very, very gorgeous. It has pink specks, gold specks. Very, very gorgeous. I'm almost finished, guys, because I know this video is incredibly long. This is the last item. She also did show me these. My intention was to only pick up one, but once I started to swatch, I ended up turning into four because I feel as though Stila was the first one who actually came out with the really nice eye toppers with the glitter and it do last a nice amount of time they do look gorgeous and glitter I find takes any eyeshadow look up to the next level you really it you cannot get your eyes to pop as gorgeous as if you put on some glitter with a regular shadow. It just doesn't. So she did show me these as new. And in my previous video where I did the Elegal Mascara review as well as my empties, I am wearing this one. And this is the Nika K Radiant Liquid Eyeshadows. So this color here is Ocroid Titan. I don't know, but Nika K's freaking items are very weird to pronounce. Tell me how to pronounce that if you can. But these are eye toppers that you wear with your eyeshadows. This one does come with a little brush. I'm going to give you a swatch. That's it there. Very, very pretty. These do take about a minute to dry. So I do one eye. I let it dry in front of the fan. And then I move on to the other eye because I don't want, to want it to be wet. And I blink and then it transfers up on top. But they do dry down. And they do give you a very pretty effect on top of your eyeshadow. Then I picked up this one called Golden Gemma. This is like a deeper gold. This one is gorgeous. It is also a little bit coppery. That's this one here. Golden Gemma. These were $30 a piece, I believe, as well. Or $25. I can't remember. Don't quote me exactly. This one is called Polaris Peach. This one is very, very pretty. Has like pink and stuff. It looks exactly like the Milani lip topper. Did they? See, it looks kind of similar to that. This one is very pretty. It's more sheer, but this will really, really make your eyeshadows pop. And then last but not least, I picked up this blue one. And I really find myself um, always going towards like turquoise glitters and stuff. This one is called Marine Blue Sparkle. 
yeah so i'm trying this is the last product that i'm hauling guys um the lighting the light is going down because it's getting dark here that's it there so these are the four um nika k eye toppers and i'm getting really into eye toppers because i feel as though they take your eyeshadow look up to the next level so yes those are all of the items that i picked up in this very long collective haul as i said these items were picked up over a period of time and i just all put it into one to show you guys as to not have multiple little videos you just watch one long video anyway thank you so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you please don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already please when if you do subscribe if you are subscribed please hit the little bell that's next to the subscription button that notifies you every time that i upload Please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love, love to read you guys' comments. Thank you so much to everyone. I appreciate you guys so much. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.